Hello everybody, my name is Parker Wirtz and I'm a junior at Gullick High School and I'm taking the Computer Science and Software Engineering class. Today I'll be going through some command line interfaces, or like the commands in them, so I'm going to start by opening my terminal in Linux and going through my notes of some of the commands that we use. So I'm going to start with using ls which lists all my directories. Next, I'm going to use the cd command to go into one of these directories. And I'm going to choose documents. So I'm going to type doc. And because none of the other ones have doc in them, I can just press tab to autocomplete it and then hit enter. And this will put me into it. Next, I'm going to make a directory. Well, I'm going to make two directories, actually. I'm going to name one the North Branch using Camo Case. And I'm going to make another one called Please Delete. Or actually, I'm going to do it Rename. Right now, I'm just putting it in quotation marks so that it'll save as one word. Now I'm going to list, and it'll have these two things. Now I'm going to do cd and go into, uh, actually, please, wait, oh, okay, there's a capital, please rename. And now you see that I'm in that directory, so now I'm going to do a pwd, or print working directory, not in caps lock, and it'll show me my working directory. I'm going to go back to the cd command, and do cd dot dot, which will bring you back one directory, which in this case was please rename. So, right now, I'm going to scroll down a bit and go to the MV, which is rename. I'm going to do MV, please rename, oh, actually, because that's, that was two, so we're going to do it. Yeah. And then, uh, old name, and then you just do new name, so the new name is going to be Please delete. Now, if I do a list, it, it'll be please delete in the camel case like I did up here. So now, I'm going to do what it says and delete it by using the rmdir command, which is only for empty directories. Okay, if I can actually get into it. Uh, rmdir. And then I'm going to type tab and then it'll auto complete and now when I do ls we only have the north branch so now I'm gonna go into my uh, north branch directory so north branch and I'm gonna use the touch command to create a new file and I'm gonna call this north bran branch employees I'm going to scroll down and actually I'm just going to open this so using the nano command uh wait actually go x nano north branch employees so now I'm in the North Branch Employees document. I'm going to go over to ChatGPT, which I already have previously asked to give me employee names. So I'm just going to copy and paste these 20 names by using Control C. I'm going to also do a copy here just because sometimes it doesn't work. And then a Control Shift V because normally if you do a Control V, I'm going to go all the way down. Control V will just like 
put you into these commands down here, which is not going to work. Alright, now I'm going to hit exit. So, control X, Y, and then hit enter, and it'll bring me back. I'm also going to do control shift plus to increase my size, and it would be control minus to decrease it. But anyway, I'm going to do cat, which displays what's inside my file. Or oh, sorry, cat, control C, which also can cancels whatever you're doing. Cat north branch, and now it'll show me. So I'm also going to open it in its own, like, mm, editor, basically. And it'll bring me up to this, which I can type and do whatever, but I'm just going to keep my 20 usernames, or employee names. Next, I'm going to use head, which shows me the first 10 names or 10 things inside of my file. And then I'm going to use tail, which shows me the last 10 things in my file. And also, just so you guys know, blue means directory and white means part of a file. I'm going to do a control L, which basically just clears everything, but it's still here if you want to save it for later. And then I'm going to do a who am I, and it tells me my username, which is just my last name, words. Then I'm going to do ID, and I actually clicked into it, and it'll show me all the information about it. Now... I'm going to add some users. So add user. And then I'm going to do... Actually, I'm going to go up a bit. Yeah. Add... What? Oh, caps lock. North branch employees. Add user... Sarah... Wait. Yeah, their username. So S. Thompson. Oh, where's the H? Thompson. Oh, pseudo. Add a user because you need a super user do because otherwise there'd be no point. And my username or my password. Why isn't it working? I'll come back. Just give me a second. Alright, I'm back. I just typed in my password wrong. I'm just going to make their passwords 123 to make it nice and simple. And I'm going to add her full name. So, Sarah. Um, other. Next information is correct. And I'm going to fast forward and do this for all of my first five employees. Which will be these five right here. Yes. Alright. I'm on my very last one, but I wanted to show you guys that if you do the up arrow, when you're actually clicked into it, it'll bring you up to the last thing you typed. Now I can do the username. So it was Olivia... Oh, what was her last name? Wilson. All lowercase, because that's what a username should be. All right, now that we're done with those, we're going to do some groups. So we're going to do pseudo group add. And we're going to go back to ChatGPT and find an example of a department. So I'm going to make a human resources department. Human, oh, sorry, human resources. And then we're going to do, or we're just going to use the up arrow, actually. 
Um, finance. Click back into it. Finance. And then we're going to do legal because got to make sure we're doing everything legal, you know what I'm saying? All right. Next, I'm going to do get int group. Oh my gosh, show up, please. Yeah, get int group. And this will show me all my groups and people. Um, I'm going to do... I'm going to move my users into their group, so... Oh, actually, sorry. Pseudo user mod. A, G, or lowercase A is capital G. Group name is a human tab resources. And then the username... A Thompson. And then I'm going to do pseudo... I'm just going to use that barrel. Do we go like those two? I'm gonna put finance. I'm gonna put M Johnson. Up oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah. And then up arrow. And we're gonna put E D two. I'm gonna do. Legal. And we're going to put Jay Miller. And then, last but not least, O. Wilson. And now, if you do get a group, our, some of our users will be behind or inside of these groups. Last but not least, I'm going to do some of the um, networking commands. And this shows me all, like, the programs and what's going on inside of my computer. When it was started up, how long it's been going for, stuff like this. I'm going to do Q to cancel it. Next, I'm going to do PS Aux, where you have to keep reading. Like I taught my teacher. And this brings up a lot of stuff. Every single application that's running. That's at least not hidden. I'm going to do control C to cancel and get out of that. And then I'm going to do... Um... Let's see. DF. Hard drive. And this will show me all my hard drive space. I'm going to do D U. SH. Path to directory. So we're going to do docs. Oh, actually, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're going to do CD to go all the way home. And we're going to do. U S H docs capital D North branch and then it'll show me how much space this file path is taking up. We're gonna type uptime. That shows you how much time since it's been up, obviously. Um I'm gonna do IP and shows a bunch of cool stuff. IP address show so I can get doxxed. But there you go. That's my IP address right there. For my school. We're going to do ping google.com 
And this will ping Google servers and show me how long it takes between each time it sends and receives a bit of information, I guess. I'm going to do control C to cancel that. And it'll show me how many packets I transferred, how many I got back, and like the percent of how much I lost on the way. We're going to do net stat dash doing. We're going to install it using sudo apt install net dash or attack tools. And it'll go through and download all that stuff. That's a pretty quick process. And now we're going to do net stat. Doing net stat. Or actually, we're just going to use the up arrow. And then it'll show me my network statistics. And then I'm also going to do find, which is a... Like, actually crazy how much stuff is going on. These are all, every, absolutely everything, including the hidden ones. So it's pretty cool. Shows you all the caches of Chrome and whatnot. And if I were to open Google Classroom, or not Google Classroom, but just Google itself. And do, uh, what? Yes. Fox. That'll be Google right there. So I can do the application kill. Right here. And do the PID. Which for this instance is 3971. Which is this number right here. Indicated. Right here, PID. I'm just making my voice in the end. Now, if we were to do PS, AUX, AUX, it would be no longer there. Thank you guys for watching. And have a good day.